Today's DIY is on how to make this acrylic newspaper clutch bag which was inspired by another newspaper clutch bag I saw online and decided I will try and make my own based on the inspiration. Now to do this of course you would need your acrylic clutch which I got on eBay for about £10 and I got the fabric from eBay as well but it was ordered from China and it was £1.49 for half a litre. Now the other thing I'll need is some much put gloss glue, you would need some foam brushes, a pair of scissors, you would need something to mark your fabric with, of course you would need your clutch bag and you can also use any fabric that you please. Now the first thing you're going to do is cut the fabric into two because the half a meter is actually more than you need. I'm just going to use a quarter of a meter and what I'm going to do after cutting it into two is trace the outline of the box on the fabric to get a guide for how I'm going to place it into the box. Now you're just going to trace out the outline of the box on the fabric and then you're going to measure the top edges and also use that to extend your drawing on the top and the bottom and also measure the side and also use that to extend the side of your drawing on both ends. Now once you've done that you're just going to join up all the measurements just to create an extra grid that would look like that and once that's done just cut out the shape that you have. Now once you've cut out the shape, the next thing you're going to do is just cut off all the small rectangles on each edge so that when you fold the fabric up, you're actually going to have a box kind of shape. Now what I did notice later on was that this shape is actually too big, so I'll be showing you two methods that you can use if you find yourself in such a dilemma. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to apply some of the Mod Podge do on one side of the box using your foam brush. And the great thing about Mod Podge is that it dries clear and the foam brush is really good for getting into all the nooks and crannies so that you can apply the glue to every corner, every edge of the box. Once I was done with that, I just placed my fabric into the box and as you can see it's actually longer than the inside of the box and this is because the inner part of the box is smaller than the outer part. Now what you can do is either leave the fabric in the box and cut off the excess fabric or take it out of the box and cut off as much as you need like I'm doing. And then just apply a bit of glue and put it back into the box and then try to make sure that every edge is covered with the fabric and that's what I'm doing here just making sure that all the edges are covered and that is what it looked like once I laid the fabric in the box. Now I'm just going to repeat the same step for the other part of the for the other side of the clutch box but instead of waiting till um but instead of waiting to put the fabric into the box what I did in this part was I cut off the excess I cut the edges into two before I placed it into the box which was a lot more easier and a lot more neater than putting it into the box and then taking out the fabric. Now once I was done I just proceeded to clean off any glue that had smudged the outer part of the box and any of the gold parts just to make sure that the clutch looked all nice and shiny and I just used, did this with um, a wet sponge cleaning all the edges and then I just used some tissue paper to dry it out you can use a piece of cloth but I felt tissue paper would then um, absorb the water much better and that's what I used that. And once I was done I just wedged it open with a nail polish bottle and left it to dry overnight and by morning this is what it looked like the glue had dried clear and looked like I just bought it from an accessory store. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial and found the instructions pretty straightforward and very easy to understand. I would leave a link to the list of the products that I used in this tutorial which you can find on my blog but the link is below in the description box and if you guys did like this tutorial please don't forget to share, don't forget to like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY videos and I hope to see you guys in my next tutorial which will be very soon and yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!